is going to be Darkstalker's Terry versus Bloom's whatever the hell he feels like to play on the day. And honestly, most of his characters are at top level. I don't understand, but he manages it somehow. Oh yeah, um, Ambler, he's done with um, comps, just letting you know, yeah. That's where I am. Wait, hold on, let me move a little bit more center. Oh, oh, we do have... Mark? Mark? Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Ah, there we go. How are you, man? Oh yeah, I should wait for you to put that on, but yeah. Are we good? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, Neural. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good. Tired. Long tired, day. Yeah. Long day. Long bracket. Top eight. Yeah. 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 Ooh. My apologies for people getting my dulcet tones. Nrex been hyping it up, but I think we're in. Yeah. Loser semis now. Loser semis. Dark Stalker versus Bloom. And this is what I meant. Like he he just plays whatever he feels, and it's automatically top level. Bro, he's gone Tyra Mithra. Yes. Yes. No, but I'm just saying like he's just able to pick whatever character. Like just generally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, dealt, I've never seen this guy play. Part. I mean, I know he's played everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just that's bound to be some obscure character yeah. which he just doesn't like. Regardless, though, very strong lead right now from Blue. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Darkstalk, of course, the hype when he's been playing the Frenchies. Yeah. And the thing that Darkstalk always has: say what you will about neutral. Exactly. Say what you will about mashing. Quote, just, quote, look, yeah. look, look, look. The guy has the best punish game I've ever seen of any Terry ever. It and, is if, and if the way he gets there is by mashing his face against the controller, then who am I to judge, yeah, exactly. bro? Who yeah, am yeah. I? Who are you he needs to go. It's time yeah. to go. Oh, that crack shoot. Oh, wow. He's able to punish that out of shield. Not quite killing, though. I just want to go on record, by the way, Mr. Kai's. Go if you it. played the character ult of Pyramithra, where, where it's the other way around, I'm right. seething. I'm, I literally, I, I, I cannot tell the difference sometimes. Like, what's, hang on, wait. Blood Yellow, that means my, kettle, my, my eyesight's good. Yellow, that means Mithra, right? And then fire. <laughs> yeah, yellow's Mithra, and then um, red is um, Pyra, but he's swapping the colors around, so. Yeah. Exactly. You know the easiest way to determine it is just green sword equals Mifra and then red sword equals para. True, true. But yeah, regardless. Oh, uh, no roll, button. roll, oh roll. Oh my god. If he, he just does it. He does it, does it again. He does it again. Does it again. Look, you know what? This is it. Results oriented. You yeah, might exactly. say it's silly, but look, it works. And you know what? People don't respect it. If they know he's going to do something silly, they should expect it and punish it. But nobody's been able to. So exactly. exactly. They just got to hold that. Regardless, though, back to even stocks from what was mostly a polarizing start. Wow, yeah, I'm interested so far in because Bloom is obviously so proficient with so many characters. I feel like the general game plan of Mithra, particularly, it's just kind of general solid neutral and then just yeah. pushing advantage with your like very very good buttons. Exactly, and the thing is Mithra, especially with all that mobility with that sword, God, that character is very flexible. Oh, huge damage! And then here comes Dark Stalker. The Dark Stalker zone. You getting close? Ooh, Tech chase. Yeah, sometimes he just goes for these raw uh, power geysers. Mm -hmm. It's time He to just go. kind of expects you near that area. And you know what? Most people fall for it because they don't know the size of the Terry set boxes most of the time. Oh, wow. He oh, rolls in. Raw, that uh -oh. Should, uh -oh. No, no. He shields better. Oh, he just doesn't, does care. Anyway. doesn't care. Doesn't care. He gets power geyser. If you scramble with Terry, especially Darkstalker's Terry, you're putting yourself in the worst first possible situation. Great DI there from Darkstalker. Yeah, lives. He's, he's DIing them really well. He hasn't let himself DI that badly yet. Yeah, Bloom going back to Mithra here. I oh, guess wow, he wants to juggle. Oh, the smash doesn't kill. kill. Yeah, strange. Regardless. Oh, no, huge damage. He DIs it really well. That's very good awareness from Bloom. He does still have go, though, so he has access to huge damage. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm surprised that he's committing so high. Like, I guess it's Mithra, so not much is going to kill. But, like, if you commit wrong, you're getting hit huge. by go. You're getting hit by Darkstalker go move. Yep. Huge Are damage. you okay? Oh, oh, it doesn't look like he's okay. That's one. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's okay. That's power. auto cancel. You know what? It's safe on parry even if you auto cancel it. So it is tough. He's got to be ready for those hitboxes. Oh, oh, he just does it again. He's definitely not okay. He's on his last stock. Oh, oh he shocked him right under the stage. Yeah, Bloom finally cleans that up. That's the thing about Terry. It's all just fuel for the fire once you get past him. Once you get up to 100%. Oh, look at that coverage. This is what I mean. Like, Mifra is very flexible. They're able to play how they want and just cover. Yeah, Bloom's look at Bloom. That. Bloom is so good with so many characters, and that always, to me, says that you just got the solid fundies. And I feel like Mithra is a character that rewards that. Yeah. 
and just honestly, his instincts as well are insane. Like, I feel like he's able to adapt it for every single character. But oh! there you go. That classic, that's it. Yeah, he didn't respect that auto cancel. That's the thing, like, if Terry auto cancels that power dunk anywhere near you, you just gotta respect it and stay well away from him. If you're in close range and he's able to jab you, well, that's tough. You can't shield it, you can't parry it because it's safe on parry. The only thing you can do is counter it and maybe he could spot dodge it and get the force out. I yeah. don't know. I don't, I don't honestly know, but it's just he wasn't able to punish. I think Darkstalk is really good at sort of like putting himself in like those really like those sort of like sort of pseudo RPS situations where he's yeah. like slightly favored. Where he, so like it's like he has he starts those uh, he sets up those RPS situations where he has access to three options while they have access to like one. Exactly. It's yeah. insane. It's really good. All right. So the Bayo is out. Yeah. I like this from Bloom. The Bayo is the classic character. I found it funny. I won't lie. I saw it on Bloom's Twitter. Yeah. The man, no, the man is about, the, the man yeah. is a Bayo main. The man plays like 60 characters, and he said the first one he's publicly dropping is Bayo. I know, which is interesting. <laughs> so I'm just like, but no, I respect the fact that he's playing it now. I think that's the yeah, right exactly, choice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And look at this damage. This yeah. is what he this is what Bayo does. But he does like he does have access to go right now. All the action replay buttons on check. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, he needs to be careful. Respect the Brandon zone. Parry. The parry, yep. Oh, the back air, tip of back air. Yeah. yeah, very good, solid confirm from Bloom right there. Yeah, I think one of the things I enjoy most about Bloom's Bayo is that like the characters like kind of like people disagree in terms of how good she is, but yeah. it comes down to can you get the kills? And Bloom's really good at getting like the he's very the good at it to back kills. air. Exactly. Yeah. Like he's able to just manage to secure out those kill confirms, even with the jab that recently got buffed. But yeah, oh my god, huge damage. But. Rolls out of that. Brandon yeah. can't get the punish. See, I can see what Brandon is trying to do. Dark Stalker, he's trying to like narrow out his shield, but multi hits for Bayo is just. Oh, the raw dunk. Yep. That ABK is dangerous. Oh, I love it. I that love that ABK's so much. Dangerous. He punished him solidly there. That was very good stuff. From see, Dark that Dark Stalker, like that, that might go underappreciated because he spaced himself perfectly there. He's he like, did, I, yeah. I'm outside of Bale's burst range, and I can always threaten something. Exactly. I keep center stage, you know? See, people only focus about when he starts space rolling go buttons, but people forget that he's actually really good at just positioning in general. He knows, like, he knows how to play. Oh, he hang on. Go, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Too deep, he got a bit scared, didn't want to trade. So, yeah, he got a bit of percent while he could. Yeah. He got to feel himself back up with a fresh stock to ride Oh, wow, the edge punish. Huge damage now. Oh, wasn't able to confirm that. But Brandon is not dropping it. Darkstalker's definitely taking that percent. Yeah, he needs to be careful with that crack shoot. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the power of a uh, bat within. It's like, exactly one of the few characters that can actually escape. Exactly. The Brandon zone. Mm -hmm. The multi-hits, the bat within, the witch time. He's got a lot of things going for her to escape those situations. Bloom hasn't let him just use a single go input at all. Oh, gosh. oh my god. That actually would have killed as well. And that's yeah. it. That's the up tilt Again, back he's air. just securing these up tilt yeah. to back air confirms so solidly. It's really good. Also, by the way, shout out. I've obviously just coming on comms now. Yeah. I've just been in hysterics the fact that someone brought a literal cheese suit for Bayo. Uh, for, I know. For, uh, Bloom to wear. <laughs> it's so funny. Because I respect you the, it. You see the contrast of the lighting. You know how it's more dark. And another there's this bright yellow <laughs> cheese just there. <laughs> it's just so prominent. <sighs> All right. Uh, so yeah, we're back into game number three, Pokemon Stadium. And oh, wow. neutral game is happening. Like yeah, it catches the yeah. jump straight away. Huge damage. Look at that. 40, 49%? Just right, just right there. Wow. He's, the roll. Wow, he's absolutely destroying his disadvantage. He's just opening the opportunities by just waiting. Oh, doesn't respect uh, yeah. the crack shoot. Huge damage. 19% just from that one move. All right, another big damage in combo. Oh, oh that. that's so important, man. Yeah, he got it. He actually managed to get it. I'm surprised that he died from that, honestly. Wow. And it's just like you were saying before, it's like it's so important to get the kills just to make sure that Terry is without go. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. And, and Bloom's, sure Bloom's not been letting uh, Darkstalker really get much going, but yeah, it's still a constant threat. He's just, he hasn't given him the space to use those specials and just to be in that area where he's thrives. Because he's just hitting him, he's stuffing him up with up, he's getting huge damage just off of those conversions alone. Wow, he took his jump. Off this stage. Is 
Tries to witch yeah. time that. Spaces it perfectly though, to be fair. This is, the one thing, this is the one thing that I've seen that's been a consistent theme. He's been able to just up B out of every single crack shoot on shield. And I feel like Darkstalker needs to work a little bit more on that because he's taking punishes he should know yeah. to take like at all. Ah, my word remix there. Either way, regardless. Ooh. Which time? Uh-oh. He's, he's the tech he's master, though. Yeah, he's second. He parries the parry master, the tech master. Oh! oh! oh he obliterated him! Oh, my Sweet goodness. Jesus. He was there before he was even there himself. Wow. Stellar gameplay. Oh, oh my double gosh. Double ABK into back air. Custom Hume combos. reacted to that situation perfectly. Uh-oh, huge damage now. Down oh, for a conversion. The pain. Well, down tilt. Regardless, our pair into the afterburner kick into there. Another afterburner uh, kick, caught him mashing. Oh, he's trying to he's press still, buttons. He can't press buttons to escape. Him. You can't he press buttons to escape. Absolutely buried him. That it's, that game was insane. He destroyed oh. him. That was rough. That was rough. I that's the most I've seen Darkstalker's disadvantage get rinsed. That was. I think it, it was, was there was echoes of it in when when Darkstalk was playing against uh, Orion's Doctor Mario a little bit earlier in the tournament. What you Orion did right? really well is did just, you see it, right? just yeah 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 just disadvantage and of course he got the capes and such. Yeah but, exactly. Like he f he fell out for a bit. He stood out for a bit, just making sure see what he does, moves, see how he moves, and he prioritized them exactly like Bloom is doing. He's caught his jump like almost every single time now out yeah. of the Bayo combo. It's so good. That is two Wait. one, two. Bloom forever. I think the Bayo is obviously putting in work right now. Definitely. Oh wow, that tip of F smash. But now it's time for Darkstalker to display what he's good at, which is of course advantage state. Oh, speaking of advantage state, you know what? Bloom is answering right back with that. Wow, look at that desperation escape. Just taking a huge amount of percent that he didn't need to there. Look at the conversion. The way he uses his normals are so good. I love the way Bloom uses his normals. And you know what? Bayo's normals are good. If you apply them right, and that's exactly, exactly yeah. what Bloom is doing. Oh, uh -oh. God, there's the. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Pain. Uh -oh. Be okay. careful. I thought Back that was like. Oh, we can. Yeah, just barely. Oh, my goodness. Wow. No, he's good. able to. No! Jesus. Just, that was a masterful use of afterburner kick there. Pushing the limits of his up B. Really Bro. good stuff. Bloom's bail, man. It's so good. He makes this character look like it hasn't got enough. Like, it's ridiculous. And it's the way, you know what, yeah? It's just when you think he's not able to extend more, he finds opportunities where he's able to. It's insane. See, look, right there, he dropped it, but then after he came back for another one. Oh my uh -oh. god. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Guess the tag, guess the tag. He's on stage. Oh my god. I Here it he comes. We know it's bait. coming. We know something's coming. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was time. Oh god. I think what it is is that when Bloom's doing advantage state, it's almost like a few hits and then wait for Darkstalker to try and press something in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. That Almost, doesn't kill him. Wow. wow. I don't think it was. It wasn't charged. So. Right. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my god. That actually confirms if you're not sent. Like if you're not fast forward, it's nuts. Oh, oh wow. perfect. Caught him mashing and he just absolutely destroyed him for it. This is rough. This is way more commanding than before. Look at that weight. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm scared. I'm not even in the situation and I'm scared. Ah, Bloom's pressure is insane. It's Look looking like curtains, I won't lie. Three stocks here for Bloom. He yeah. might even finish it here and now. I don't know. Oh, he should no. Oh, oh, no, no, he doesn't care. Cheating. He's cheating. He doesn't care. Oh, oh there wow, he goes. He gets yeah. the trade. Yeah. yeah. He's right. not. I don't. The thing is, it seems like Bloom is 100% winning, but I don't want to count it Brandon out, man. Darkstalker is insane with his combos. And if he just. If he catches him slipping, that damage is going to rack up very quickly. Oh, that begins 50 yep. just on the board. 70 hey, on the board. There we go. 70 right there. You can live in hope when Terry has go, exactly. but there's a still a long way to go here. Mm -hmm. Against some Bayos, I'm like, okay, 136%, you know, Bayo might struggle to find oh, the kill. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! That was the perfect situation. He was looking exactly for that. Oh! The D wow, that we was weak back here. Oh, Nash? finishes it. Oh, yeah, yeah, brilliant that, stuff. That, yeah, that deep into the blast zone, there's no way. I tell you. That, Bloom's that Bayo is just different. Is it is entirely different. different. My god, the way he pushes advantage like that, and the way he's able to extend right. Bayo's combos when he's you think they're done. Four. He just keeps going, pushing past line. the limits of Bayo players. Well done. Insane. So that's a good run from Darkstalker who finishes oh, yeah. out, what is that, fifth? I think so, yeah. 
Loses finals. Loses finals. This is determining fourth, right? Oh, here we go. We got my boy Owl. Owl Returning to the stage. Blue. 